This is uh, King's Quest V, played by Kuroi no Kaza, which is Q-U-R-O-I-N-O-K-A-Z-E. Oh, those are my favorite kinds of presents. Sierra presents? Give me the presents! <laughs> I like Sierra presents, except when they're, when they're bullshit hard, then it's... Basically, when they're anything but Gabriel Knight, I'm not a fan. Hey! Hey! Hey, over here! There's a... thing? I'm trying to conduct this invisible orchestra. I think your Daventry castle's in trouble. Do they have a hedge fountain there? What the fuck is that? I'm either trying to warn you or land a plane. <laughs> I, well, oh, 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 well, well never I, mind. I, I, I tried to warn him. In medieval uh, Sim City, that's what happens when you put the bulldozer icon on a castle. Well, that was King's Quest V. I can tell you what happened. Uh, what? High quality voice acting. Ooh, I know what happened to your castle. I saw it all. Yes, I did. This is already too grating for me. Well then, <laughs> what happened? I'm mildly curious. Why? Why would Chief <laughs> Mordak? I am auditioning for drama class. Why? <laughs> Why do another take? I got that perfect. Oh man. Whoa. Fantasy slapstick. <laughs> it's funny because he's dead. Oh, I think the fairy dust is still good. <laughs> um. Well, let's see. I snorted some on my way here, and I feel great. Maybe that's why he fell off the branch. Because he's tripping balls. Come on, up here. Wait, what? what did they record that in a closet? <laughs> fairy dust, I guess. I'm not animating flying. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and so the quest begins. <laughs> the quest of kings! <laughs> okay, here I come! Why did they get farther away from their microphones on this one? My reaction would be a bit different to Graham's. <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck's happening to me?! <laughs> I'm fucking flying! That's why I brought him here! Well... He's still here. I have the feeling Cedric's voice actor really is Graham's, just with a fake, like, you know, high-pitched tone. A little rusty lately. Just tweak some settings on Audacity. A little rusty. That's quite enough from you, Cedric. You're dead to me! <laughs> oh, so old! Oh, I broke my hip walking over here. King's Quest five and a half, the search for a hospital? <laughs> you really did? What, what are we waiting for here? Loading? Are those bug, like, bug zappers on the ceiling, too? <laughs> there, we, there we go. <laughs> yeah, take it all in, Graham. You can't look away. He's really spry. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Might work. Here, eat this. <laughs> <laughs> Pull down his pants. Now go on. You'd better get started. <laughs> also, take my annoying ass owl. I appreciate all you've done for <laughs> I will now exit the house going this way. So <laughs> another thing to point out, or that we were talking about earlier, is that uh, this guy also provided us a write-up of some background information and trivia on King's Quest V. Yeah, he did. He did. So... We could totally have trivia contests between each other. Mm -hmm. So I could say, hey, Slobby, what was the best-selling video game from 1990 to 1995 for the PC? And I could answer Dark Se No. Uh, mm -hmm. I could answer... Wait, I, I know this. Is... Mm -hmm. Take your time. Is, is it Metroid Other M? Yes. What sold over 1.5 million copies with a development cost of over 1 million... Whoa, 1 million dollars <laughs> development <laughs> cost? It all went to the voice acting coaching. <laughs> Graham, watch out! A poisonous snake! A poisonous snake, you say? He, he means the snake has a lot of poise. In silence, the large serpent eyes Graham menacingly. Who, who, who are you now? What? <laughs> it's like Wilford Brimley talking about... <laughs> Graham, Liberty Medical can protect you from snake bites. I want to talk to you about good of natural Quaker Oats. Yeah. Well, the the town theme, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> My God, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that is cacophonous. Welcome the digital minstrels. I can't hear the fucking voice actor over the fucking. You, 
What? No, no, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm sorry. Me trouble. I can't hear you over the calliope in the back. Thank you kindly, but I think I can handle it. Thank you kindly, but I have to kill myself after hearing this for the past several years. Thanks. <laughs> With this wagon, I'm gonna need it. By the way, this town has been rendered deaf and crazy. Would you like to hop on the merry-go-round from hell? <laughs> Just pick up the fish. I heard... <laughs> Stuff the fish in your ears, Jesus. Help! The fish is in a better place than we are. One million dollar budget! <laughs> Graham flees from the horrifying soundtrack of the town. King's Quest V, A Tale of Fiscal Irritability. No, don't go back, Cram! No, no! No, I can't! No, I can't. Ah! Can you just mute this part of the video and spare it so nobody, everybody doesn't hit the X at once? Wow, that was He recorded cool. this just for us. To kill us! <laughs> the lady appears to be in a real hurry as she walks briskly past the The <laughs> lady is gonna be in a real hurry. They're creeped out by this buff king. Things are going to be rough from Graham when those old Duke boys show up. I thought this was going to be a different kind of big house. I thought you had some fairy dust here. That's how you draw a coin? Seriously? These five cost one silver coin each. I feel like this is like a flash game somebody made. <laughs> is that a person? Log sits a dashing young prince who looks very sad and confused. Dashing? Who are you to say who's dashing, Mr. Narrator? Now that my wife's not here, let's talk uh, about... Excuse me, young man. Sorry to bother you, but I couldn't help but notice you sitting there on that log. <laughs> Would you want to go behind the tree? I need silver coins. Oh, boy. Fortunately, Graham can't read. <laughs> Enter at your own risk. Oh, that's what it says. All right. <laughs> Graham doesn't understand risk, so... Can't you read the sign? I just read the first word, so... What the... <laughs> All right. King's Quest. Graham, totally off guard. That's awesome. I, I think that's the canonical ending. <laughs> that's the game over <laughs> theme too. Like dun 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 dun. Long pause. <laughs> I, I think the game over theme should be the town theme because that just screams death and misery to me. How the fuck? Did it, where did the million dollars go? <laughs> All to that one soundtrack. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. Go on. <laughs> I was just noticing your son's marionette. It's very interesting. Where did you get? It? Sir, do you have a white van over there? It's grandson, not Sam, and I made it for him. Why do you care? I just wanted to comment on its artistry. It's very <laughs> God. Done. Graham, you know what you're supposed to be doing, right? <laughs> I see where Alexander gets it from, though. Yeah. Uh-oh. The mystical bear theme. <laughs> right next to the town is <laughs> a fucking bear. Bear? Bear-handed. Oh. Combat? Oh my god, here Holy we go. Holy shit. Yes. Let's see how we do this. You should be very careful around a big old bear. <laughs> Thank you, Wilford. Intent on the honey to listen to Graham. Listen to him? Well, you can talk to the animals and stuff. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> the bear fucking, fucking clocked him! <laughs> That's awesome. Graham should know better than to be the bear. <laughs> the bear looks at the hat and is like, I don't want this, this is ugly. Well, why couldn't that have happened to Alexander? Over and over again. All right, here we go. Yeah, throw a fish at him. <laughs> then the bear walks over and punches, <laughs> punches the right. <laughs> oh boy! Oh my God! The, the ants are killing him, just like in Indiana Jones. What? I, I hope. That dog looks mean. Please, God, let the dog just punch him. The dog doesn't seem to be a friendly sort at all. Unlike me. <laughs> <laughs> then the dog mauls him. <laughs> Bites his balls off. Man, PC gaming must have been dead in the early 90s if this was the best selling game. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, I can buy this or excel. Whoa. <laughs> Hold on, we have to load this great track from Mark Sieber. What? <laughs> Yeah, 
shot. It's right. called me. The bear comes and tears them apart. <laughs> what did that even accomplish? We found the gold you need in my Oh, really? Good. That is worth nothing. I can't believe how ripped he is. Look, even there. Like, his sprite is ridiculous. You're talking about Cedric? Oh, yes. Yeah. Most people avoid it because there are bandits out there who refuse this ongoing... Bye, Cedric. This looks like a very fun part of the game. Graham goes through great lengths to avoid that town with the horrible soundtrack. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the precursor to Uncharted 3. It's, nah, I don't even need it. I'll just eat a power bar and keep going. Too late. Graham <laughs> extreme thirst in the hot desert sun. He could have found an oasis. <laughs> well, Jimmy, that's the end of story time with... Whoa. Time for you to go to bed. I am mildly embarrassed at my dehydration. Grandpa, that story was terrible and stop doing the owl voice. <laughs> Actually, my impression of a little kid sounds like the actor's impression of Cedric. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> <laughs> then Jimmy and Graham died of thirst in the desert. What did we learn today? And then the crows came down and slowly tore apart his flesh. <laughs> in exact detail, his entrails were carried by King Antony back into the town of terrible music, which I, w I will now sing for you. <laughs> Grandpa, the perspective's all wrong on this. You shut you up. You shut kid. up, kid, or I'll <laughs> take away your water. I'll tell you more about how Alex, uh, Graham died. What the? That's that's the music we're going with. <laughs> he must drink, and soon. <laughs> Cedric, I need you to come pee in my mouth. <laughs> Fortunately, he ran into the desert bar. Wait, what? Oh no. Imagine no maps. I'll try. That's the lesser known John Lennon song. <laughs> we'll just take the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark staff. He reaches out and takes the staff into his possession. <laughs> One million dollars spent licensing copyright. Thing. Graham gives the wand a good shake, but it only fizzles and dies. Aww. Just like this story is right now. <laughs> so King's Quest V, 70% desert, maybe? Oh, yeah, easily. 80? Oh. <laughs> Part... <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Even the sting of such a small... He got stung? Deadly. Yeah! He's dead! <laughs> Holy shit! That... Oh, okay. that's, just, that's the shittiest thing I've ever seen! Why would you even do that? <laughs> Gra Grandpa, that wasn't in the story. You just said that, right? <laughs> <laughs> no story's that dumb. <laughs> Open Sesame! That doesn't sound like Graham at all. Oh no! <laughs> the exit door is about to close. Unless you say open sesame again. Right. Cheer up, Graham. At least you can practice your game of tiddlywinks. What? My name's not Graham, Grandpa. <laughs> I said cheer up. But my name's Billy. Grandpa, what was the lesson there? <laughs> anyway, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough for one day. <laughs> now eat your oats, Graham. The staff lies in several broken pieces. Several? Steps. Jeez, Graham. Grandpa, what the hell is wrong with King Graham? King Graham doesn't know his own strength. King Graham got some ye old ah, HGH. Like ah, freedom at last! Now you spend the next 500 years in a bottle. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> How does that work? Finally, a roommate! Ooh, keep your eye on the gypsies, Graham! What? <laughs> Cedric the racist owl! <laughs> it will cost you one gold coin to see Madamushka. Thank you, Kung Lao. <laughs> you may see Madamushka now. Now that you have given me one gold coin, as I asked Morning. previously. I never really liked my wimp son. Against all but the most powerful magic. He can't even do skull crushers. Ridiculous. <laughs> Good luck, King Ram. Be careful. That Mordek is a bad one. Thank you, Madam Mushka. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Crystal balls were like the fantasy version of YouTube in this day. Now I need to go bench Jollo for a little while. <laughs> Whoa. 
Work those zombs, Graham. Apparently, you can give the golden needle to the gypsies and render the game unwinnable too. To glow softly as Graham slips it over his head. Yeah, there's about uh, eight or nine ways you can win the, uh, render the game unwinnable. Hiding from sight. Madam, oh no, other way around. Um, you can use a gold coin to purchase something else, that they and they won't take it. Mm -hmm. So they won't take the needle. So you're fucked. That sounds fun. Oh yes. It sounds like something the Quest of Kings would be involved in. What are oh. you doing in my forest, young man? <laughs> That's their reaction? Don't you know you're trespassing? <laughs> didn't you see the oh, sign I, I didn't posted? No, this was a private forest. Whoa. Oh, oh. Graham turned down the sass. Ah, oh, freedom at last. Let's boogie. The next 500 years in a bottle. But you wouldn't know that without dying to it first. Is it's that like... how you do the Macarena? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Well. So. Good. That old witch won't be seen here for a long time. Because she's... But now, dead. how to get out of this dreadful... It's kind story. of a fate worse than death, honestly. Yeah. That's for turning me into a frog of an eternity of solitude. I've avenged my alternate timeline. I feel like Graham uses his family's disappearance as an excuse to go antique shopping. Or just to go anywhere. Graham spies a small drawer built into the trunk. Yeah, he's just like, finally, that wife is not around to bug me. Graham finds out. A small leather pouch. What is that? Away in the drawer. It's a leather pouch. No, not that, the noise. And removes the leather pouch. That. <laughs> That's the music of Mark Siebert. <laughs> That's the score. All leather pouches this is him practicing for his masterpiece, Girl in the Tower. About God damn, that is annoying. Graham discovers three sparkling uh, Ah, stop! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Better name one of these saves, Dead to Rights. Jpeg. Dot Woomva. I think, is there a funny death coming, or... What was this item that he got? I forgot. Graham, don't take a shit in the woods. Oh. What, what the hell is that? Wait, what? Uh, huh? He's like dropping these little gemstones in this It's like... like the most boring Easter egg hunt ever. Drat! Just missed him! What? You. Uh -huh. We're supposed to kidnap a dwarf? Is that what happened there? Well, time to try that kid with a marionette again, I guess. <laughs> oh boy. Please! Let me go! I beg of you! Why should I do that? <laughs> what will you do for me? Oh my god! Uh, I'll show you the way out of the do we need an unrestricted Hypercam 2 logo for this? Uh, How do I know I can trust you? <laughs> oh, oh, um. I give you my word. An elf never breaks his word. Well, it's against my better judgment, but. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I think what you're doing is against your better judgment. Move over, Rocky! You're in our way! <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> mm, sorry. What? <laughs> to be fair, that is much the best voice acting we've heard in this entire game. That was one of the Sierra developers, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, over here! I've got something for you! Well, why would you trust him? Didn't you, like, we trick him and kind of kidnap him? And the FCC made us cut off the cartoon here. Will you marry me? <laughs> oh, no, oh no, 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 God! No. <laughs> come on, don't come on. I thought this was a one-time thing. Oh, I thought you were gonna save it as cacophony.mp3. Uh, Graham notices three rough-looking men huddled over the bar. Oh, very rough-looking. Since they're talking, you know, boys, talking, my wife's away. I can't quite hear what they're saying. Can you tell me where to find some pussy? I am a king. A gentleman, please excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Well, we weren't talking. I will come over here and we will resume this conversation. Hey, whoa, ain't got no more rooms. <laughs> I had to come over here to tell you that. Real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? Oh, kick his ass. What? <laughs> what? No. No, no, no. That is no, no, not no, how no, I wanted no, to start no, part no, six. No, 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 not into the town. The London Symphonic Orchestra presents Nails on Chalkboard. We're not as fast as we used to be. Oh, that's okay. My own boots should carry me through the rest of my journey. But I'm going to have to kidnap you now. These are the finest pair of shoes I've ever seen. The leather is soft and pliable. How much will you buy them for? <laughs> then a burly guy hits a grain with a blackjack. Then the bear comes in and clocks him. I don't think I could find a better use for them. I beg to differ, Graham. Yeah, I can think of about a thousand. We have repay you. 
You don't need to repay me. Because no, I, I own you. you. Ha ha ha. Not wishing to be put through another speech about fine shirts and trousers, Graham... What's me? What are you talking about? Shut. Graham goes to motorboat the guy in the back. Fine cloak. It could be very <laughs> useful to a traveler like yourself. Yeah, probably not. Alright, so... Graham stabs him in the carotid artery My with the golden, golden needle. needle. Well, I'm glad to see you've got your golden needle back. What? I wonder, could you possibly see fit to give me that wonderful cloak in exchange for it? No! A it's cloak? like five cents worth of well, gold. Who do you think you are, a king? You... Alright, just just walk left and we're done with town forever, I think. Okay. Alright, that's not so bad. Just in small doses. Graham pounds on the rusty padlock until it breaks apart. Well, for they won't hear that, fortunately. Graham, you can break a rod in, like, one blow. Why does it take that much effort with a hammer? Because <laughs> it's, like, the world's tiniest hammer. Well, where the hell Inside are they? the cupboard, Graham sees a large, juicy leg of lamb. <laughs> Come on! That looks mighty delicious. Reaching I'll pound it with this hammer. Cupboard, Graham pulls out the... <laughs> oh, well. Then Graham wandered into their house and robbed them blind. I think I'll follow them some more. <laughs> Why is the creepy king following us? I can't... Graham, you know you're supposed to be saving your castle, right? Oh, right. Thanks, Cedric. <laughs> Graham, where are you? No, it's not that way. <laughs> Graham, Graham. God, God damn it, Graham. Is that Ridley's skeleton there? Hey, Graham. <laughs> Good luck. All right, bye. Good luck in there. <laughs> nice marionette, by the way! A deep chasm slices through the underground cavern, cutting off further exploration. Disappointingly, he can't go visit more elves. Graham can tell that from way over... <laughs> now, why would she toss aside this beautiful harp? Well, if she doesn't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> no, he's not going back. He's not going back to the town. It's, it's, oh. What is there even left to oh, do? It's like I'm walking to the gates of hell! Like, we've accomplished nothing! Oh. That's a fine sled, isn't it? Why would you, a grown man, I want it? To have it. <laughs> Is this to kidnap an yes. elf? You need to really love it. Aren't I do? Hehehe, <laughs> <laughs> and, and such. <laughs> yeah, most of them, but not all. What do you think of Stormfront.com? Some I bought, some I traded for. It's a whole blitzkrieg of savings. <laughs> Danke, Danke. Danke, fuck you. Oh, did you get this wunderbar marionette? For God's sake. <laughs> it is the final solution well, to my toy store problem. Believe me or not, but I got it from a little gnome. <laughs> so, can I have the sled? <laughs> Great, what I is your. Yeah, yeah, take it, it's yours. <laughs> I'll take over the Thank Polish toy much. store next I door. Find... Alright, grit, grit your teeth. Actually, it seems lower right now, doesn't it? It does. Huh. We're being spared. He's keeping us on our toes. <laughs> all right, well... Oh, it got cold all of a sudden! Oh, <laughs> what? what? Graham begins to shiver with a sudden drop in temperature. That's the best way we could explain the change in scenery. Ooh, I've never been here before, but I think this is the way over the mountain. You think? You think the mountain path is the way through the mountains? Thank you, my fucking favorite tour guide. Cedric, the helper. Can we get rid of a few hours later, or is it just eternally part of the background? Uh-oh, wait. Stay away from the end! Hey! Ah! Graham could smother Cedric with the cloak right here, and no one would see it. <laughs> We're just going to throw that out there. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Nice. Oh, be careful, Graham! <laughs> Is he dead? Apparently. <laughs> Five. That's the that's the death thing too. Thanks for playing King's Quest Five. Graham should have used the sled. Best selling million dollars. The early nineties when PC gaming was dead. Is he gonna jump? Let's hope. Oh. Is he gonna fall fall to his death first and do the oh, scream? Do be careful, Graham. I know what I'm... <laughs> that was some wily e. Coyote shit right there. Uh oh <laughs> That last step was a doozy. Woo Didn't it seem like it went on really long there? <laughs> a little. Alright, so this, this is garbage. So now you eat the custard pie. 
Right, yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> well, bye, Cedric. Yeah. What? You can contemplate. <laughs> And that should be the ending to King's Quest V. <laughs> <laughs> You're with us. Good show. Oh, and now you use the sled. Yep. I'll save you. Uh... <laughs> the Quest of Kings. <laughs> My sled is broken. <laughs> I landed on my Green marionette. Sled lies in several broken pieces on the eastern side of the icy crevasse. <laughs> the broken sled is now no good to anybody. What is Graham doing right now? He's just he's crying about his sled. Oh, oh yeah, my family. Oh. Are we have to take part of Graham's it. Graham reassembles the sled. In broken pieces on. All right. Well. <laughs> what are you? Doing. <laughs> oh. Aw, oh, shit. Whoa. Transition music. Whoa. Whoa, what the? <laughs> now you must marry the Yeti. Alright, let's see. Alright, what's the best puzzle ever? Let's go here. Custard pie the Yeti to death? Oh shit, you might be right. I can't think of anything else. Uh, yes! Pie looks oh delicious. my god. Yes! I'm a master of King's Quest! <laughs> this game is off. Fuck this game. And I have been informed of your quest. Uh, oh, you know who the king of the kingdom is? By the way, you know my wife's not around. Hey, Graham! Uh, nice birdie. Good birdie. <laughs> uh, Gucci, Gucci, goo. Please don't be patronizing to us. Oh, Graham, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. Uh, shut the it's been like two it, seconds. Cedric. You'd never believe it. Really, on this adventure? No, there's a lot I'm willing to believe at this point. What is it? It was a rock. Oh, that's it? Silence. You want what syphilis? You? Come on in! What are you doing on my beach? I'm King Graham of Daventry, and I'm on a journey to find the wizard. I am Gandalf the Retired. I seem to be stuck. I don't know where to go from here. Hey! What's that you say? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this looks like a sled. <laughs> Maybe we can use it. Yes. I'm, sh I'm sure we could use it. Unless it's poisonous. Help! Help! What? <laughs> Why did that kill us? The king who they couldn't swim. <laughs> Poor Graham. By the way, did you hear t t t yeah, Telltale Games is making a new King's Quest game? It's going to be episodic. I did hear about that. Yeah, and after seeing this, why? Seven, eight <laughs> games wasn't enough. Oh. What the <laughs> Ship's my favorite! <laughs> I like how you just get eaten by a thing, and then Cedric's like, oh, watch out. He's waiting for someone else to throw the boat so he can go fetch it. <laughs> what do I do with this? Oh, he's going south! I, I don't feel like following him. <laughs> he's too far now! He can't see it, but under the surface, I'm like enormous. <laughs> I'm a morbidly obese sea creature. My body covers the whole ocean floor, but not my head. I can't move. <laughs> Graham, come back! I like where this is going. Whoa. So, well, maybe I don't. Meanwhile, in King's Quest 69. Oh, no. He doesn't look like Meanwhile, in Leisure Suit Quest. This is what the South Beach diet does to you! The harp, really? Yeah, get it? Because cause this is the stupidest game ever fucking made. Oh no, if only I had the long beam, it would hit them. What's that thing? I don't know. I hope Rock Knight just comes in and beheads them. <laughs> this is the worst music I've ever heard, Slash. Uh, Alright, bye. And that was the Kardashians. 
<laughs> he now lies moaning and in pain upon the sand. He's just getting a tan. I'm, so, I'm shocked the world's dorkiest owl couldn't hold his own. Well, see ya, Cedric. Have a good one. Good luck out there. So you can, by the way, render the game unwinnable and leave Cedric to die. Colored shell. Oh no, Cedric! Oh, something shiny. But at least we got a shell out of it, right? <laughs> That's what you need to revive Cedric. I give you the custard pie, but well. No, you put him out of his misery by beating him with the death with the shell. <laughs> we feel you. Yeah, we feel you. yeah. My thoughts exactly. Maybe that nice dragon can make you feel better, Cedric. I'm too tired for that. Owl tastes disgusting, and he's kind of annoying, honestly. <laughs> I got standards. Hey, your perspective's all fucked up now. How'd the island get so tiny? <laughs> but then the wind just takes you exactly where you want to go. Look, I'm actually a pretty good graphic artist. I can uh, spruce up your sprites. <laughs> you guys ever hear the blur tool, maybe? Grant, where are you going? Alrighty. Do what do. <laughs> you didn't even really push it there, come on. I glitched onto the boat. Bye, Cedric. Oh. I'm not going out there again. I like that too in the town, like, I'm not going in, I had to run with a dog, but it's like, oh, Harpy Island, why not? <laughs> so the sea creature poses no threat to the mermaid? Uh, I guess not. Girls, ew! <laughs> He's stuck? Cedric, you are the most fucking useless sidekick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> now loading. Graham is about to do some lunges. <laughs> Hold on, it's time for my 3,000 crunches, Cedric. <laughs> uh, uh, that six-pack took me three games to get. We're loading the logic behind the next puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot. One thing, by the way, um, Kuroino Kaza, unfortunately, did not include in this uh, walkthrough. Yeah. So did you see the twisting path there that we had to walk up? Yes. So, of course, because this game is a bastard, if you walk off that, you die and Graham screams. <laughs> oh. But the thing is that even if you walk off when you're really low to the ground and it shouldn't have killed Graham at all, <laughs> it still happens. It's like the equivalent of falling out a first floor window. Ah! Uh, yep. Dead fish. Uh, who would want Ooh, this? Yeah, Puts it in his pocket. <laughs> And yeah, that's except. <laughs> Looks like there's no way in. Let's turn back. Are you cold, Cedric? What? Come on, Cedric. Yes. Even Graham's getting fucked. Uh, I know. This is a rusted grate embedded into a stone platform. Thank you, narrator. Use use your fucking kingly crowbar or whatever the fuck. Graham's bulging biceps lift. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this looks fun. <laughs> I know, definitely. It's like, well, if we get rid of Cedric, they might have a little too much fun, so... By the way, air ducts were incredibly huge in ye old times. <laughs> they were really meant to filter out like fucking dragons. Back so. in the land of the giants. I'm really hoping this goes on for another nine fucking minutes. This would have worked out a lot better if he had sledded through the maze. Oh, hi. A huge beast, sporting a fluffy topknot, bound in a crude hairpin on top of his head, skulks in one dark corner of the labyrinth. Duh, hi, Graham. Excuse me? How would you fucking know to use the tambourine on him? This is the worst fucking game. Perhaps it will lead him to the castle. Now let's keep looking around. <laughs> Graham tries to open the wooden door, but to no avail. Come on, Graham, you can bench 480. Inside the cupboard, Graham's eyes fall upon a bag of dried peas. Graham's eyes fall upon the only thing in the... Oh, never mind, there's a lot of things in the cupboard. Instead <laughs> of all of them, he's like, oh, the peas will come in handy. Everything else here is garbage. How much do you want to bet the dried peas are like some comic slapstick thing where he's going to use it to trip someone up? Wherever did you find my gold locket? How did your boob get stained? Well, I lost it on the island just after I was brought here by Morda. You don't scare me at all anymore. Even if I told you. Look, look how gruff and manly he looks suddenly. My name is Princess Kasima from the Kingdom of the Green Isle. Kasima? Oh, you hear that? Yep. She was a horrible wazir who befriended Morda. I know a tower that needs an occupant. Graham tunes the organ to play the town theme. <laughs> Wasn't that the creepiest thing you've ever heard? Well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to pace and think about what to do next. Uh-oh. Oh. Goodbye, King Graham of Daventry. 
<laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> oh, Dracula. <laughs> Holy shit. It's force choking him. By the way, Cedric sold you out in like a second. I didn't have to touch him. <laughs> yeah, we just stepped one step closer to him and he spilled everything. <laughs> Alright, don't hurt me. He's in there. He's with a girl, I think. <laughs> She's pretty. <laughs> Can you get me her number for telling you? Is there like a girl to owl spell you could cast? <laughs> I'm kind of lonely. I'm your servant forever now. <laughs> I could be Iago to your Jafar if you like. <laughs> it's hard since he's so talented at it. What the? What? A large beast rushes toward Graham with hatred in its red rimmed eyes. Oh my god, so much hatred. Oh, we better censor this cartoon. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> nice roll, Graham. Graham misses the desert at this point. <laughs> huh? What the? Hello. <laughs> I was just what? here, you know, hanging out. <laughs> oh, I see you found the cleaning supply closet. From the labyrinth. I spend a lot of time down here, you know. Why? With my friends. <laughs> what? With Graham? my friends? Yes. Even Graham's like, what the Sam? shit? And Sam? I don't know if you ever thought Oh, about you're that. crazy, I see. Oh, yeah. you're a nut yeah. job, right. I'm glad the owl is here to do ultimately nothing in my whole quest. Yeah, what did Cedric do at all? Nothing, he really did nothing. I can't think of anything. Graham! <laughs> he said that a lot. <laughs> he was there to warn you about the sea monster after it killed you. Well, works. Oh, God, oh. I, I know. Oh, it. here it comes. <laughs> Even use the cartoon sound. Fuck you. Really? Game lies stunned on the floor. Stunned. <laughs> Graham Great digs out his heart. Only oh, the cat's here now. Oh. It... <laughs> what? Okay. What? Wait, what? Wait, you, you have more? What is? Is that the peas again? What? The pea bag. Oh, the bag. <laughs> That's. The cat struggles in vain inside the bag. Yeah, there's no way to claw your way out of a bag. They declaw cats in the quest of kings. Yeah, this is not going to be conspicuous at all when Mordak comes back and finds his cat in a bag. His talking fucking cat. Um. Um. Graham? Hello? He's probably thinking, what should I do about that cat? I should probably drag it in here or something. Everything's fine in the center of the library. Everything's fine to my right. Let me think about those spells. And everything's good over there. This is a library indeed. Okay, what the hell are we waiting on? Uh, what? The... what? <laughs> he just fell asleep. He teleported <laughs> to bed. Even I'm bored by this. <laughs> wow, wow, that is that is some bullshit. How do you not notice that? <laughs> that lies <laughs> oh, that bag seems to be epileptic. Bed. Anyway. <sighs> it would not be a good idea to bother Mordak right now. He's had a long day. <laughs> he is really fucking cranky. <laughs> Meanwhile, rah, rah, rah! <laughs> <laughs> Now we're adding cheese? Sure. Graham tosses the moldy cheese into the machine's bubbling liquid. Because that's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> well, my experiment of random items yields another dead fish. Hooray. And that is when Graham became Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> so that's how you make crystal meth. King's quest. Uh. <laughs> Breaking ye bad. And that's how Graham discovered antimatter. What's going on here? Moldy cheese. How did you know? <laughs> Graham, I'm. Uh, excuse me, Mordak. I'm up here. You're looking down at the ground for some reason. They call me Quick Draw Mordak. Grab that. Damn, I heard from Crispin. What? What? I heard from Crispin. Yes! <laughs> hey, I'm this now. <laughs> Transforming seems like a great idea. Oh, these are the spells we learned. Is Graham gonna transform into one of those? Yes. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> a tiger. Clearly, the alien Why butterfly. Little... What? It's like two two football mascots fighting each other. But why did the why would the tiger have worked on the giant thing? It's like rock paper scissors. 
Why? But you can just fly over them. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, well, the tiger's natural enemy is the dragon. That's obvious, but the dragon's natural enemy is... What, the caveman? What was that? Uh... Is a bunny. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh... <laughs> this should not be working. Happy Easter, everyone! The way you want to play. What? Well, now he's a ring of fire. Well, fire's weak against... Tigers! Oh. Oh. Or... Kings? <laughs> no, Graham, you're supposed to turn into the, the storm. That's how those spells worked. Graham was the lightning in that rain. <laughs> uh... <laughs> that's it? <laughs> the final boss of King's Quest V. Hocus. Hocus. Aliopus. <laughs> he opens his uh, wizard robe and flashes both of them. <laughs> and the bottle explodes. Here's Alexander. I think that's Rosella. Uh, sure. And the queen whose name I forget, like Gwendolyn or some bullshit. And he grows the castle and it falls on top of all of them. <laughs> My joy knows no limit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me run over here and embrace all of you. There. <laughs> I really love that they're forgetting about Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> Your castle is right back where it belongs. And the right size, too. But now... <laughs> but it's depreciated in value. Plus or minus a few miles. It's imperfect. <laughs> Alakazam. Alakazoo. Alakazoo. Wait. Wait. What about Cedric? Oh! No, Al no. Uh, great. Oh, that was a mistake. Abra could die. <laughs> and they start making out. In the script, it just says, say magic sounding words. <laughs> well, Cedric, let's build a new life here. And then Mordak chokes him. <laughs> Finally. Alright. Well, <laughs> well, you could have teleported us a little closer, dick. Well, three while walk. Down once more. They died on the way back from dehydration. Yeah. Left. <laughs> walk off the cliff. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Alright. And so the sea creature became the king. <laughs> Alright, there's gonna be some new rules here! <laughs> First of all, that boat's gotta get a lot bigger. It's gonna fit my fat ass. <laughs> we really couldn't figure this out without consulting with William Skirvin. Quote unquote artists. <laughs> One guy QA'd it. Yeah. He didn't come into work very much. Kuro Kuroi no Kaze also has this um, alternate ending dead to rights thing. He does? Yeah. Do you, oh. want, me to, you want me to give you a link and we'll uh, check it out? Or... Oh, I, uh, I see it actually. Yeah. yeah. I just pulled it up. It's, okay, I have no idea what's in this, so oh, I didn't even uh, know what's said that to rights. Yeah. I'll just read the description. Uh, King's Quest V, what happens if you let Cedric die? This is my love letter to Diabetes and Slowby, thanks. You're welcome. You know. That wasn't a very smart move for What's the... Uh, I don't know. The Revenge of the Organ. What the hell? Oh, it's the town music. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? Why did you do this? This is what you call a love letter? <laughs> we have 50 more seconds of this. I know what to fill it with, too. Okay, what do you got? If you're going to be editing this, can you edit out the portion from when Cedric comes back to life to them teleporting back to the castle? <laughs> so the canonical thing is you just forget about Cedric? I'll see what I can do on that. Okay, thank you. So, uh, this was King's Quest V. Uh, uh, I... Ah, uh, that's right! Uh, that's right.